Hi guys, welcome to Filament PHP series and in this episode we are going to cover how to create basic root with resource and let's get started. So in my previous video I already show you how to install the Laravel and install the filament on it and in the same project we are going to create a CRUD operation with a user. Okay, so let me go here in my terminal <clears throat> and first of all I am going to run the command PHP artisan list okay and hit enter and they will provide the list of all the defaults command of laravel in our application and if you scroll down you will see the brand new command that's called filament resource filament rich content filament schema so we need to use that commands and create a crowd operation so we are going to cover up this command like mac filament resource and we will create a resource for user so let me just clear this and I'm going to just run the command php artisan mac filament resource and then and the last argument we need to pass the resource name so we are going to do for user so just I will call user hit enter and it will ask the attribute name for this model so we already have a column that's called name so I'm going to just say name for by default filter and all so just hit enter and then it is asking for would you like to generate a read only view page so i don't think we need for read only page for now so just no and then they are they are asking for us like should the configuration be generated from the current database columns i will say no because i want to explain you so that's why just hit enter no and you can see that filament resource has created successfully inside the app directory so let me go to my vs code editor and here is our project and if I open the app inside there is a new folder created filament okay and inside that you will see the list of uh, uh, folder that's called resources and inside the resources we have a user folder and then you will see the user resource over here okay so that means they have created user resource file and they also created other files that port pages folder where create user added user and listing users and there will be a schema where user form and then you can see that there is a tables for and there is a users table so this is the by default uh, all the files will create when you create a new resource and now let's see first uh, about the application so let me run the application so let me just clear and I'm going to just say composer run dev and let's go to the browser and just I will localhost 8000 slash admin slash login and let's log in with the user that I have created yesterday yeah and you can see that we created a resource and they have added the link over here and if you click on it you can see that there is a list of uh, layout for the listing of users if I click on create new you can see that there is an empty page over here so that means when you create a new resource at that time they will create something like this okay so let me go here and you can see that they have created all the files over here that, that I already explained you. Now what if I want to create a user like for example if I click on create user here it should ask like name, email and password. So what I need to do just go here in VS Code editor and click on form okay and here you can see that they have already given the components array and here you just need to write text text input okay and you can see that that uh, I am using the VS code editor so that's why it's automatically import but make sure you need to import on your class okay so just call and call Mac and I will just say name and just save it and go back over here and hit refresh you can see that they have automatically add the name input over here same way we need email as well so I will just say comma and I will use text input Mac and email okay so the, in this area we need to pass and just go here hit refresh you can see that they have added the name and email as well okay now let me go back and I'm going to add another column that's called tax input with Mac and that's called password okay and just save it and if I go here and hit refresh you can see that there is a password but if I write it you can see that I can read it so that means it is just basic simple input instead of that I need to make it password uh, input okay so I will just use password method like this and just save it and if I go here hit refresh you can see that now it's password 
input okay so now and let's see the new things as well so after the mac column for example if you make you if you want to make it name is required then you just need to write the required function like this okay and just save it and if i go here and refresh you can see over here they have added the red icon so that means you can uh, uh, make it required as well this is very simple form okay now if i uh, create a user so then it will be create a brand new user for us okay and make sure like uh, you have already created because when you create the resource make sure you already have a created migration for it and models but laravel by default give us user model and you can see there for the password automatically they have de uh, did the hashed so we don't have to do anything when you create the user okay and now let me go here and just i'm going to say test user and just i will say test and if i click on create you can see that our user is created and they have redirect back me to edit page so that means that user is created let me go to my table plus and i can show you that user is created you can see over here and let me just refresh it over here and you can see that test user is created over here okay so now you can see over here let me go and go to the users and you can see that here we don't see any users but at least we have two columns over here so how can we display the name and email over here so let me go to vs code editor and inside the users resource first of all we learn about user form they have given the another function that's called table and users table you just need to go in this class and here you need to add the text column over here so i will just call text Coleman, okay and just i'm going to say mac and i will add the column name that's called name and if i go here and just hit refresh you can see that there is a name column added over here same way if you want to add another column that's called email then you can add it like this text column mac email and just save it okay and if i go here in our table if i click on it you can see that name and email over here so that means this is very basic if i click on create i can create the new user if i want to edit it i can edit it and if you want to delete then you can delete it from here so this means very basic cloud application with resource okay and now let me go back to vs code editor and if i go to the user resource first you can see that this is the protected model so we have defined the user model that already we have created and now for example if you want to change this icon then how can you do that so you can see that laravel uh, filament already using heroic icon so let me go and show you the in heroic icon okay so you can see that there is a list of icons over here okay and now you can see that if i go and go to the definition you can see that list of all the icons over here i can choose any one so i'm going to just remove and i will see you just user group and just save it okay and now if i go back to our panel hit refresh you can see that user group okay so same way you can see that there is a multiple icons over here for example if i want to say like battery so i will just go battery zero and just save it and if i go here and hit refresh you can see that there is a battery icon over here okay and then you can go here and you can see that they have used that uh, icons over here icon class if you want to copy that if you want to change it because there is a solid and there is a mini and micro icon you can change it this is the class name where you can change it as well okay so for this example i am going to just call my user group and just save it okay and go back to our application and just hit refresh and you can see that there is a user's icon we changed it so this was very basic and startup cloud application using resource so you can do it very easily and in the next episode we are going to cover like all the forms element and uh, how to add the validation on it and how to work with this table like right now it's automatically add name email and edit button later you can add delete and all the things we are going to cover 
so if you like this video then share with your friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos see you in the next video guys thank you